small water bodies, the ponds, streams, ditches, and springs dotting our landscape outnumber larger rivers and lakes by 100-fold, and yet they boast a species richness that equals that of larger waters, play a critical role in the global carbon cycle, and are the main source of much of the water that sustains life on Earth. Despite their clear value, however, they're the least investigated part of the water environment and are rarely considered in water management planning. They're also highly vulnerable to disturbances caused by human activity. To help protect these essential ecosystems for future generations, researchers and lawmakers must start bridging the gap between freshwater ecology and conservation policy. One of the most important known functions of small waters is the maintenance of freshwater biodiversity. Larger lakes and rivers quickly become polluted in regions subject to intensive agricultural use or urbanization. But some small water bodies in these same regions remain in near pristine condition due to their small catchments, which allow them to occur within pockets of more natural land, protected from pollution. As a result, they've become a refuge for species that have disappeared from larger, more damaged water bodies. Beyond biodiversity, small waters provide numerous benefits to human well-being in the form of pollution control, carbon sequestration, floodwater storage, and small-scale water supply. Although clearly significant in maintaining both planetary and human health, however, there are sizable gaps in our understanding of the fundamental function and structure of these water bodies. Temporary streams formed by seasonal rainfall, for example, have been described as the most abundant freshwater ecosystem on Earth, but little is known about even their most basic hydrological and geochemical features. Moreover, few policies are in place to protect these water bodies. For instance, the Water Framework Directive, employed in the EU, uses size thresholds that exclude small water bodies. In North America, small waters have only recently been included in environmental regulations. These gaps in basic research and policy offer fertile ground for scientists and legislators to work together in supporting the study, conservation, and management of small waters. Better understanding and monitoring of these water bodies may usher in more effective measures of protection ensuring that this critical part of the water environment remains functional for years to come.